Welcome back to Cat's World. Um, it's been some time. I actually filmed this video like two weeks back, and um, I didn't necessarily like how my hair looked. So it's like I ain't gonna post that. And also, I don't. I feel like I my energy was sad. But when I watched the video, I feel like my energy is fine. But I don't know. I feel like people really do notice. So. I'm trying it again. I'm gonna like insert like clips of um, how it was before, um, and yeah, for some, for certain topics like what I said before, comparing it to what I'm saying now, because I definitely feel like the things that I said in the video before um, have definitely changed. I don't necessarily feel the same way about things anymore. So I will kind of like, put a clip here of then and yeah so i've never done a chit chat before and i'm doing it because uh firstly i'm running out of content <laughs> secondly um it's an easy way to get um the audience into your life without i don't know without doing much just literally sitting and talking and chilling and chatting what does chilling mean i don't know i literally try to I asked Siri this and Siri was like I can't answer that right now yeah so I don't know what chip is but okay <laughs> let's start um, this chit chat will be divided in subtopics um, no not subtopics and just topics which is gonna be school money relationships um, is mental health as well yeah <laughs> So, okay, the first one, which is school. You guys know I started university. I still find this a bit weird because I don't believe I've grown up that fast. It's like, am I that old? Wow, I don't believe that. Um, so, yeah, and I go to a university in the city that I was born and raised in. So, obviously, um, I know a lot of people there, but not necessarily friends with them but i know them from like um i don't know all of life like church or primary school or i don't know all different things i've been in a couple of schools where i've been in i've been in three different schools so um the first one is only there for grade one so I, but there's actually someone i know there and then the second school is there for what grade two to grade eight so all the people from there are also um in the university and then people from the high school i was in are there but not even much a lot a lot of the people from my high school that are there are the people in the Afrikaans class not necessarily people in my class and i'm not saying the black people because um there are white people in the English class and a lot of people don't know this but uh, I was in an Afrikaans school and there was an English class I wasn't taught in Afrikaans or anything I was taught in English it was just an Afrikaans school so if you come to me and speak Afrikaans <laughs> my Afrikaans marks don't justify um, no they don't prove the point that I was in an Afrikaans school but they definitely it didn't help with my Afrikaans being there but um yeah so now I'm seeing old friends new friends it's like old emotions are coming and new ones because you know things change you know and it's it's been nice it's been interesting and I must tell you university is not necessarily like grown-ish <laughs> Like it was it's a scam it's a scam they lied to us child they lied to us um, maybe it is for some people because i don't live on campus i live in my in mi casa so um yeah maybe for people who live on campus it's like that but there are people i'm surprised i really thought a lot of the people i'm gonna meet were gonna be people who travel every day like me and that's not the case a lot of them actually stay in hatfield i don't maybe it's because my sister's friends stayed at home i think that's why i thought that would be the case but no a lot of people live in hatfield and yeah so they get to go out and party and at any time of the day but i don't know it's like now all those people if i insert the clip here i'm gonna put a case a lot of the people stay in hadfield and therefore can go out and jaw and have a good old fun time um 
at any hour of, at any at any hour of the day you know but yeah so i can't do that i don't know i just don't feel like partying right now i'm having a weird relationship with party all those people are kind of tired of partying now and it's just we just finished the first month of school and they're tired of partying and they feel like they're behind in their schoolwork so i feel like it's a blessing that i am at home yeah even though though i'm at home and i still feel like everything is so freaking fast i feel like i'm hanging i'm hanging on with literally two fingers but um I'm having a positive view about it. I'm not going to say it's difficult or anything. Everything is difficult. So this is not more difficult than whatever. No. I'm just going to say, my EGD teacher used to say this. He said, how do you eat an elephant? Piece by piece. So whenever I get a lot of assignments and tests coming up, just tackle everything piece by piece. You do as much as you can. If I can't do something, I'm not, then, you know, that's it. Time ran out. I tried. I did what I could. And it's fine. I'm content. I'm. My meditation is working. The other thing is, um, I was actually feeling very, very lonely. I'm going to insert the clip here. And it's unfortunately very lonely for me. And I've spoken to a lot of other people that I know, and they also feel kind of lonely because their friends are in class while they are on break. So you end up just walking around like a zombie, not knowing where you're going or what to do because you have no one it's difficult but i don't know i i felt extremely lonely and i think the main reason why i felt so lonely was because um i from in high school i spent all my time with people i all i wanted was time for myself and now in university that's all i have time to myself and now because now in my school it was like if if i decided that i'm just gonna sit alone um, people would be offended. People would kind of think that I'm mad at them or beefing with them. No, I was just I just wanted alone time. But now in university, when I'm like trying to hit up Q, you guys know Q by now. And then he'd be in class, and then I'm like alone. But it's really not that bad now. I have met people, so it makes it a lot easier. And it's people who are in some of my classes, so I'm not that lonely anymore. Um, it really does get better with time. I hate it when I tell someone like um, if if like I'm if it was a situation like that and someone's just like it, it'll get better like just let me feel how I'm feeling and then be like um, then I think you should do this go to someone and do this and you know give me steps don't just be like go get better go better what go get better me doing what come on I like I like having steps when I do things so if you literally give me steps and you're like step one go to someone say hi step two <laughs> Because now I'm actually starting to do that. Um, I'm becoming very social. What? But it's just like maybe in class I can like just talk to someone and uh, I'll just check if we click. And then maybe the next time I go to class I see that person and we sit together, you know. So it's, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a bit a way more comfortable in UP than I was feeling before. And yeah, I'm not... I, I remember even in the post I was like... In my in the previous video, I was like, it's it's not that great. <laughs> I wasn't having a good time. I'm not gonna lie. Like everything is just I'm not loving it right now. <laughs> but it's it's not it's not uh not not great. It's just I don't adjust to new changes easily and quickly. But when I do, I come out of my shell and I just surprise everyone it's also like i'm i'm actually <laughs> i'm an extrovert but i'm very shy when it comes to talking to people and i have anxiety and people don't believe me when i say that because i can if i talk to someone i talk to someone i don't know and we flow and that's because firstly i in me and in my mind i've had to say okay overcome this anxiety i literally had to tell myself over and over or if let's say you come and you introduce me to your friend then I say hi and I see how you are then boom I just get used to you and I start just start talking like I was never shy before that is the case for people who are saying I'm a very social person I am but um I'm very very kind of scared of being around people <laughs> and so it's nicer to be behind the screen 
the second thing is making money um okay i just recently invested in stocks and um for me to do this i i had a fake account and in the fake account i invested in those stocks and i, I made a lot of money so then i then used my own money to invest in those same stocks and i lost money and the problem was i didn't enter into the stocks the way i did with my fake account so now i went back because i i invested in what mcdonald's apple but mcdonald's and apple were not in my original plan anyway i just saw that they were doing well and i just thought maybe i should enter and now i went back to tesla and i made like almost a hundred percent profit <laughs> so you should do it i use iq option i'm not sure about the withdrawal process like i had it before and they didn't want me to withdraw the profits i could only withdraw what i put in so um i only put in 150 because that's ten dollars and i'm gonna see how it goes if i can withdraw the money that i made and then yeah but just try it i keep telling myself you know what i'm just i'm gonna stop buying all these things that i'm buying and i'd rather invest in stocks and because i watch people like andre jake i am covered i have the good knowledge and stuff like that to do that and the second thing i do is call the app we are Ape. this is it's an influencer app it's amazing um i probably only told three people about this app and um i don't even think they're making money because i'm not serious about it i have made probably 20 dollars so far from that app and um it's it's money i didn't have before so now it's i just with that money i buy clothes online <laughs> and i bought a shirt i just have to go to the post office to collect it and then i'm going to probably show it on my ig because i loved this shirt hopefully it, it looks proper you know um and the third thing i used to make money is we are uh, sorry it's bitcoin i invested in bitcoin um it's, it's a long-term investment so it's, i'm not really expecting quick profits all of them are long-term investments except we are eight and um yeah it is moving slowly but i have made a profit and the money I initially had so that's something if my Bitcoin I'd probably withdraw the money while it of the two years it's fine if it moves slowly it's it's okay at the end of the day it's not money I'm spending on something useless the other topic oh, let me focus the other topic is meditation and mindfulness um, I just recently learned about the law of attraction and it is I've, I've known about it but I thought this is this is just junk like what is this I just say I want a car and then boom a car comes by and then um, now I'm trying it out why should I have a closed mind why do I have to lose anyway <laughs> so I'm doing the law of attraction I do manifestation visual, visualization um, affirmations and something else there's something else I just forgot but there is a series of steps to follow for you to get to the point of where you want what you want and there's also it also talks about your energy the energy you give off is the energy you will receive back and um which also kind of leads me to the topic of relationships i'm i'm not a relationship person you probably know when have i ever ever showed anyone i'm dating um they will <laughs> but it, I never do because I never have someone um, but even if I if I do have someone uh, you probably would know anyway and if I do post a guy just know I'm not dating that guy because I would never post the guy I'm with unless I'm like really really happy and I just want the world to know because you know <laughs> um, but uh, I want to be I want to keep things on the DL. I even want to delete Instagram for some time. I have deleted Instagram in the past, but now I feel like I'm building my feed, I'm building my online presence. So, uh, I've recently started self care Sundays. Um, on, during my self care Sundays, I spend it's, my self care time is during the hours of four and six on a Sunday. Those are my trading hours. <laughs> and, um, that time I usually put on a candle, read shoe dog and sit in my bed. And then afterwards, before the end of my self-care session, I um, meditate and then I use my nice Lush soap, Lush cosmetic soap because, you know, 
the media has made self-care seem like a monetary thing unfortunately but i, I love lush products and i paid like 40 bucks for that soap and it's good soap so i'm not losing anything but yes um this is the end of the video my friend was here i wish i filmed with her but she left early but anyway thank you guys for watching i hope this chit chat was kind of interesting so you can kind of see my life but yeah thank you for watching bye